What's up everyone and welcome back to the FIFA 19 Pro Clubs video. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a yet another update to my best striker build to use on FIFA 19 Pro Clubs. Now, if you guys follow the channel since the beginning of FIFA 19, you guys probably noticed that I already put two of these videos out. Now, the first one was a 6 to 149 pound build. And that build was pretty much a build that is when you're starting out FIFA 19. Because of the pace differential between a CPU and you and your player, CPU having 70 pace and you having like 85, he's still keeping up with you in every single situation. You want to use that build to kind of give you more strength so you can body them off the ball. You tap L2 when you need to and body them off the ball. That video was very helpful for players that are just starting off their FIFA, especially Christmas is coming. So if you just got your FIFA, try that build first before you even try the other, the other build. Now, after I reached 92 overall with about 455, games played I end up putting a six six foot 149 build with the 92 overall because it's a more all-around player your pace is a lot higher so you're actually able to beat off the computer a little bit what and you can use your analog sprint to kind of beat them off the ball to kind of you know in general be a little bit more overpowered with that build compared to the six foot 149 uh, build but now with the patch 5 if you guys haven't noticed uh, patch 5 just dropped and if you guys didn't see that video on my channel Make sure you guys check it out because a lot of people got downgraded Everybody pretty much in pro clubs got downgraded and a lot of strikers can't seem to get to a 92 overall In this video I'm gonna show you guys how to be a 92 overall and also what is the best build and give you guys a couple of tips on things I know I'm talking a lot so let's jump in right into it as you guys can see on the screen This is pretty much the build I use when I reach 92 overall with 455 and you guys are probably saying why am I 91? You probably know because EA downgraded everybody it sucks uh, but I'm gonna explain that as well. So six foot 149. I got downgraded once, so I'm only a 91, even with 791 games played. It sucks, but here is why EA actually did that. EA actually didn't just downgrade everybody in pro clubs. What they decided to do is they decided to play with the attribute a little bit. Now, they didn't put this on the patch notes at all. And if you guys have seen my video on how to get your pro clubs playing in the arena, you guys probably know that this player right here is the exact same player that I have in pro clubs that I have in the arena. It's the exact same attribute. Everything is the exact same. And EA, after that patch 5 or patch 1.06... They decided to even downgrade my created player. Now, I'm not even joking. I'm going to show you guys this right now. He is 91 overall. He was a 92. It's the same exact build. Every single attribute is exactly the same as my pro clubs build when I was a 92. And both of them got downgraded. So EA didn't just downgrade people in pro clubs. They pretty much balanced out the attributes. So when you add all the attributes together and you divide it by how many attributes you have, it becomes a 91 instead of a 92. Now, if you guys want to test that out, you're more than welcome to create a player and, you know, do the math yourself. But I'm not going to do that because it's just going to take a long time. And I'm not trying to make this video uh, pretty much a book. But... Let me show you guys what the best build is after explaining that a little bit. But of course, guys, if you guys are enjoying this video so far and you find these videos uh, helpful, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to put anything else. But let's see what is the best build you guys are probably asking. What is the best build after patch 5? Well, here it is. The best build after patch 5 or patch 1.06 is now instead of the 149 pound, you're going to 174 pound. Now, I know a couple people will probably be like, oh, I already had this build and I still don't get it in 92. You can get a 92 overall, but you have to play a little bit with a couple of things. Now, as you guys can see, again, the 6 foot 149 build, I am not a 91. You cannot actually be a 91 with this build. I have tried every single combination in trade. If someone finds a way to you to get a 90, 92 overall with a 6 foot 149 pound, let me know. But I have tried every single combination and it does not work. I have also tried with a 5.8 and a 5.9 build. And even a 5.5, you can't seem to get a 92. If you guys figure out a way to get a 92 with those builds, let me know. Again, if you don't prefer to play tall and you prefer to play short, then this video might not help you as much. But some of the tips I might give you might be helpful. So here is the build to get a 92 overall and also the best build. 6 foot, 174 pounds. And then the traits you are using, pretty much with the balance that EA did with the attributes... Uh, strength become a bigger factor if you guys watched my uh, maxed overall video how to get maxed overall or how to level up faster strength was watching one of your primary uh, attribute as a striker and that is very important and that is why with the 149 build the strength doesn't play a bigger factor for you to get the 92 and when you go to 152 to 100 and I think it's 120 uh, 222 you can be a 92 because of the strength is a lot higher now, yes, you'll lose a couple of pace. It's not that much. With this build, you only use one pace, actually. It's not that much at all. But also, of course, if you do not use skill moves, don't put this. I say this on all my builds, every single position. If you don't use skill moves, take this off. I will show you guys a build in a second here to play without using the skill move at all if you're not that type of player. Of course, I do skill moves. I do fancy passes, fancy bicycle kicks and all of that. If you're trying to get bicycle kicks and stuff like that, or Ebra flick like the one on the screen right now, you need to put this on. You need to put this on to be able to do those kind of fancy stuff. But 
Everything is the same pretty much. All I change is I went for the short pass because short pass is also another primary attribute for your striker. Don't put your long pass on. Don't put your long throw in. I hope you're not putting that on your striker. Don't put your crossing on. And any long pass doesn't really matter because even if you put it on, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the finesse shot trait is not necessary you can just finesse time finesse uh, um, as you guys see on the some of these videos you can just put time finesse and you'll score them so much you don't need to put your uh, finesse shots on to even try that and i'll be making a video on how to time finesse a lot more often or how to finish in general soon but pull your pull your header on and also also with this Make sure you're putting your weak foot on, boys. You need five-star weak foot. Even with five-star, you will miss sometimes, so you need to put that on. And the other thing is, penalties are very important. A lot of people do not know this, but if you do not have your penalties on, when you're taking a PK, if you guys don't notice, when you're taking a PK, when you move your players uh, aiming to the left, your player will move his head to the left. If you move into the right, your player will move his head to the right. Now, I don't know if it's a myth, but a couple of goalkeepers have said if the striker have more uh, traits on their uh, on their penalties or they have a higher rating on their penalties, it's a lot harder to see that head movement. And that is very true. I have noticed it a couple of times. And if you guys know this, let me know in the comment section. Confirm it for me. I'll appreciate it. So that's why I have that one in there. Again, there's a lot of tactics to kind of use to beat uh, human uh, goalkeepers instead of CPU on PKs by just moving to the middle of the field or putting this on to make it a lot harder for them to see where you're putting your shot. And of course, put your pace on. Again, I only went from a 93 acceleration to a 92 and then a 92 sprint speed to a 91. So I didn't lose much with this build and I'm still a 92 overall instead of using that 91, uh, 6 foot 149. So that's all I did. I went from a, a 6 foot 149 to a 6 foot 174. You can go, also go with 6 foot 152 and that still works. You can also be even go above that 174. You can go 176 and so on. And you'll still be a 92. But you need to make sure you play with your trade a little bit. Now, the next build I'm going to show you guys is a build to use if you want to kind of dominate in um, in the uh, in in draft, just playing, you know, regular leagues, regular pro clubs league seasons. Uh, and that is a target man build. Now, this build is for people that don't do skill moves and they like to play tall. Uh, put your strength all the way up, of course. This is a six foot uh, 6 to 100, I think a, what is it, a 198 or something like that, uh, yeah, 6 foot and 191, and the reason for this is you get a lot more strength, and it helps you a lot to kind of body people off the ball, you have 85 strength, CPU is not going to be able to stop you with that, and even that, your pace is still an 87, like, think about it, your pace is 87, you have 85 strength, it's going to be hard to get you off the ball, especially by the CPU, I'll be making a video on how to beat the CPUs more often so people know, uh, but pretty much you're putting your penalties all the way up because you're pretty much going to be the, the, the score, you're going to score a lot of goals, you're going to hold up the play, you're not going to be doing that many skill moves, you will you will eventually do some ball rolls, you'll eventually do some body feint to beat CPUs, but you're not going to try to do Magetti spin, you're not going to try to do the tornado and so on and so forth, you're not going to be fancy, you're going to be more of an Ibrahimovic trying to finish uh, you know, hold up play for your teammates and score goals. Put your power header on because it's going to be very effective, especially against CPU. You will jump over them if you if, if your teammate put a good cross in with this six foot build, and it's very overpowered. And I'm going to be eventually putting playing this on stream. If you guys want to check that out, the link for the stream is in the description. We stream pretty much Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be using this build a little bit to kind of show people off, uh, show this build off because it's very very overpowered for regular divisions. And then put your short pass on again. Same thing here. You're not changing much. Don't put your long pass. Don't put your, long, your crossing in. And for dribbling, no skill moves, no fancy trait. You have two star skill move. All you're going to be doing is holding up play. Learn how to move uh, quicker with your left stick. And also learn how to, to tap L2 to kind of body people and move the ball without doing skill moves. You can still do the ball roll. You can still do the body feint to beat players off the ball. And then defending nothing. And then physical, of course, put your strength on. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys want me to do updated uh, an updated video on the other builds, because I do have all the other builds on the channel, but I haven't done an updated build on them because I seen it doesn't seem like they, it's a bigger difference, but for striker, it's definitely a bigger difference. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 19 and Pro Clubs content in the future, and we will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.